my name is Christine. I'm an interior designer. Over the last three years, I've been working on my bedroom makeover, one DIY at a time. DIYs like making a headboard and installing the wallpaper myself. I work full time and freelance on the side, so these DIY projects of mine take a little while to complete. When we first moved in, we used a lot of hand-me-downs until we saved up and I started work on our bedroom. When designing a space, I first study the layout, flow, and function. For my bedroom, I created symmetry at the bed wall with a functional storage bench on the long wall and a dresser on the short wall. I added character to a classic clean look through the textiles, wallpaper, wall trim, and soft metal accents. After some sketching, I went with this design because it helps create balance and symmetry. I put tape on the wall to make sure I like the scale and position of the wall trim. After cutting all of the required trim, it's time to move furniture out of the way. I pre-nailed the trim and added glue to the back. I find the combination of glue and nails makes installation easier and more secure. I used a wood block to help me with consistent spacing, then verified with a laser level before nailing it. Nail in the top and bottom first for general alignment, then go back to the middle. Despite my efforts for clean cuts, there are gaps between the trim. So I use spackling to fill in the gaps and repair the wall as needed. I painted the wall trim the same color as the walls. I think it looks nice and subtle. I noticed a lot of gaps between the wall and trim, so I used spackling in a tube to fill in the gaps. It's easy to squeeze and smooth out with your finger. This really helped make the trim look more professional.
Once the spackle dried, I sanded the rough areas and added a second layer of paint. Next, cable management at our bedside tables. I used Velcro tape to raise the power bar out of view. I also put cable management stickers to organize our chargers. I don't always do this, but sometimes it's nice to iron out the bedding. It makes you feel like you're in a nice hotel when you get into bed. I have to keep my windows open for fresh air and let the cats peer out. However, I want a layer of privacy, so I'm installing a layer of sheer curtains. Light and air passes through while still providing privacy. The grey curtains are blackout curtains from Ikea. I love how the sheer fabric filters light and flows in the breeze. I want to keep the decor in my room minimal, so I'm making a stem holder from a wood dowel. One large hole for the stem, two small ones for the wire. This is as good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many when the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to fall from within On warm days like this, even a messy bed looks pretty and romantic. To see the horizon and the far. 
Looking back, I'm reminded change worthwhile takes time. Three years to be exact. It's okay though, I learned a lot and enjoyed the process. This video marks the first step of my YouTube journey. I hope to look back at this video in a year from now and see how much I've grown. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you'll follow along with my journey. Bye.